Today I will show you how to make this crazy wipe lines transition. Yo, it's Povikas here, and yeah guys, I know I am pretty sick right now, so that's why I'm you know, recording with this, but yeah, at least this feels good because this light, as you can see here, it's like shining in the eye, so when I have this little uh, hoodie, I guess, on, it doesn't shine that much in, but yeah, anyways, let's go make some sauce for you. Alright guys, so here we have a clip of a car, and then it transitions to one and only, this is from one of my favorite music videos, it's one and only Stardust music video, and this transition works amazingly for music videos, so what you just have to do is you just have the press control y and then let's make a position point so a position point is going to be right here so we will just press on this little button to park it and we will transition here so we can go one three forward here we can press ctrl shift d and delete that now go here now go again here and go here so we need to have three frames and press ctrl shift d and delete this so yeah we, we need to just have three frames two frames for the car or for whatever you have it doesn't have to be a car and then one frame for another and here we can just start adding the effects so the first effect i like that here is minimax which is pretty much going to be like the lines effect i guess and here at the start we can go to the starting frame and just keyframe it to zero and the pretty much most important part here is to make the channel to just horizontal and now let's add luma key which we will use to darken this look out and here at the start let's just keyframe it to zero just wait guys you will see this will be crazy and now let's add some sort of like a glow so you could add like a normal glow and and just make the glow radius like really high and keep the glow density like that or you can add a plugin which is called deep glow 2 or deep glow 1 it doesn't matter which one you add both of these are fantastic i absolutely recommend to get these although these do cost money so just be careful with that uh and yeah at the start i just like to make the exposure to zero and the radius to 500 and let's keyframe the exposure and the last effect we're going to add here is exposure and this is my personal thing i really like exposure here and i like to make exposure to four at the start and keyframe it and now we can go one frame forward where it's like the last frame before the other frame and here we can make the exposure to zero but here we're going to be doing some fun stuff so here we can go back to minimax and make the radius from zero to 80. this will pretty much give us this lines effect which looks really really cool but as you can see like we can we can definitely work on it although that is really cool and you can keep it like that but that's why i added luma key i like to make the threshold here to like somewhere from 100 to 225 so I'm gonna make it to 175 because it works for this clip but it doesn't mean it will work for you so we can make it lower or higher and the exposure let's make it to 0.05 and boom we pretty much have made the effect I think that looks amazing oh yeah I'm talking about crazy effects that you could like add here as well I also have a povicos.com website where I have crazy video editing presets that I have crafted over the years and I've spent a lot of time making and they look absolutely ridiculously good and yeah I use them in every single one of my projects and also on the website i have a crazy all packs bundle which just includes all of my packs that i have on the store so if you are interested in these crazy video editing presets you can check it out the first link in the description it will take you to my website but anyways let's get back to the video all right guys so a thing i think you should do is go to one of the effects press ctrl a press u hold shift select all the keyframes go to animation save animation preset and let's just save it we should definitely save this so in user presets i'm just going to call all this wipe lines transition and this will pretty much make it so we will never have to make this effect ever again you know no more headaches just add it from effects and presets and we will just have it but anyways guys that's pretty much it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know see so yeah, i just wanted to drop some sauce for y'all because i do think this effect is amazing but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya